Hi, you guys. Okay, so as promised, I'm doing the 1950s inspired um, makeup and hair look for you guys. So I roller set my hair last night with these satin sponge rollers. And I took some of them out, left some of them in that weren't all the way curled like I liked. So I just, I'm going to tell y'all what I do while I do my eyebrows. By the way, I'm using Kat Von D Super Brow uh, Pomade in the color Walnut. And then just a slanted brush. I've already done that brow. So just so y'all know what I'm doing. But how are y'all? Okay, so um, I took some styling foam. It's kind of like mousse, but it has conditioner in it. And I wet each strand of hair before I rolled it so that it would be semi-wet with product. And then I rolled it up and uh, left it for uh, overnight. So this is how the good curls came out, actually. I would consider these the, the way that I wanted it to curl. And the, the rollers have been out for like a few hours. So the curls were much tighter than this when I first pulled them out. Um, oops. So they dropped a little bit. But I haven't brushed them out or anything yet. So I wanted to wait until I filmed to brush them out for you guys because I want to see how it turned out and show you guys my reaction because this is my first time doing this um, type of set on my hair with these sponge rollers and I'm excited to see what the outcome is going to be as I try to get this eyebrow on. So uh, for my skin, I just moisturized with this Pond's Cream. Uh, I'm trying to stick to like the 1950s products that they would have used to see if the makeup will come out better or what but actually this this Pond's cream is really really good i love it like um if you haven't tried it i definitely recommend you try it if you have dry skin it will uh you will love it um i don't have dry skin of combination skin but my skin loves it. I mean, it just it feels so moisturized and nice. So I'm just, you know, trying to get this brow together. But let's move on from this brow. Yeah, okay. So and I'm going to just take my concealer brush and some eye primer. That's the color of concealer by NYX. And just kind of shape this brow out. And kind of get it the same shape as the other. Um, this brow pomade dries fast and it's, it sets for 24 hours so it doesn't smudge, which is why I really like it. Um, I forgot that I had it for a while and then I found it and I was like, wow, let me start using this again because it stays on and it stays put and it doesn't fade out throughout the day. And it just looks really fresh even after hours that you put it on. So, um, yeah, if y'all haven't tried the Kat Von D Super Brow, it's worth it. I might thicken it up like that sign. Um, what do y'all think? Thin or thick? I think the brows back then were a little bit thicker. So I'm going to go ahead and thicken this little, what I call, wing. up a little bit more on this side and make it more realistic for that time period. Okay, so this is, this is good. It's not as thick as the other one, so let me work on that. Um, this is one of the parts of makeup that most people already do before they start filming because it takes very precise skills to get eyebrows somewhat even. So, you know, sorry. 
It's just like trial and error. Some people can just do it because they're so good. But I do. Sometimes I gotta do trial and error, especially because I'm not concentrating and I'm, you know, talking to a camera and then trying to multitask. So I do my best. All right. Come on, thickness. Come on, thickness. Okay, I think this is okay. Let me try to go ahead and even it out here so that these two can not look like enemies. <laughs> look, they're going each opposite way. It's like, make up your mind. So, yeah. So, I'm probably going to edit most of this part out if I can. Um, YouTube has a really cool editing um, situation now that makes it easier. So I'm happy about that. Thank you, YouTube. I think that was one of my suggestions. Oh my gosh. Probably many other people's suggestions too. Like um, to be able to edit after the video has been uploaded or whatnot. Mm -hmm. Or filmed. Via YouTube. Okay. So, just going to brush this out right here. The, the eyebrows from the 50s were very sharp, especially right here. They were very square. And that's how I kind of do my anyway. But, but more so, just emphasis on that. Emphasis on the brows being sharp here. Um, if you have this brow shape. Now, I think some people have round brow shapes. So do according to your brow shape. Um, look at someone maybe from that era. and Get your brow shape from maybe one of the Hollywood actresses or something. From that era and then do that eyebrow. Because I know this is my shape or the shape that I'm going to draw anyway. It's the shape I want. So, it is what it is. Okay, so now we're going to move on to eyeshadow. And back then, either you did like natural color, barely any color at all on your brow. Some people use like that blue color, but that kind of ages you. And that was more towards the 60s, I think. Anyway, so... I'm going to go for the natural um, eyeshadow look of the 50s. And it just makes it easier to wear different shades of lipstick, especially red, without looking aged. Okay. So, got those on as best as I can and fix the rest later. <laughs> y'all gotta, Y'all got to work with me now. Okay, I don't have any um, foundation on or anything, so I'm going to be putting that on first. Forgot about that. Okay, so I need to put my NYX Shine Killer Primer on. It's very clear. This keeps you from shining through. You don't want to be shiny because 50s was like a real powdered look and matte look, so you don't want all that shine coming through. I know I, I like to glisten, but for this era, you gotta stay matte. Okay, so this feels really good actually. Put some under there. Okay. All right. Let this dry for a second because that's a thick coat. Now I'm going to go into my Born This Way. No, actually, I got to put my concealer on. Um, I'm going to use the Revlon Youth Fix in Deep Fonts number six. And I just kind of go under my eye just to get rid of that shadow. I'm calling it a shadow. Even though I'm not saying I have dark circles. I know you, I know you lying. That shadow. That's not a dark circle, that's a shadow. 
Okay, and you were mistaken if you said dark circle. That is a shadow. All right, so just doing that, and I don't blend it in until I put the foundation on too. That way it blends together, and I'll have like um, a more even color. And I don't want I don't want that light look under my eye. So I just dotted on this. I mean, patted on the sponge blender. And this is um, Born This Way Foundation by Too Faced in the color of Brulee. I have all the products listed this time in the description. I wasn't lazy. Thank goodness. Um, yes, I wasn't lazy at all. So. Anyway. I hope this is still recording because um, it says no connection to the chat, but I'm not live. It's private and I'm filming it. So hopefully it goes through. If not, I'll go on my head. Maybe I will just do the makeup for this section and then do a whole other video for the hair because that'll be too long. <laughs> that would be fine. I don't want to be sitting up here all day. Okay, so now that I have that on, make sure it's even. Now I'm gonna spot what I call spot conceal. And I have this uh, Urban Naked Decay um, Skin and Shape Shifter. And I didn't know it had powder and cream. When you lift up the little mirror, I was a, it was a nice surprise. So I'm taking this like orangey color and this just um, gets rid of like dark, uh, areas or you know blemishes and I, I should have put this under the foundation but sometimes I put it over and then just do a little bit more foundation on top you can put that under your eye if you have darker circles I want to see what that does for me I'm just I'm just gonna see what it does for me I'm gonna just take that sponge and kind of push it in while everything is still moist. And there's a little bit of foundation still left on it, so it looks less cakey. If you just, you know, kind of. They also have this yellow one, if you also like that yellow for your under eye, which is also good, I'm gonna try it too. Oh, this is working better. Okay, so I really like this palette, by the way. I love it. I'm glad I found it. All right, so that's what we're gonna do for that. I don't wanna look too overly, you know, cakey for fifty. So okay. now that I have that on, um, I have to do my powder now because you know they wore powder back then, and um, I have this Cotty Air Spun and um, and translucent. This is a vintage uh, powder also. Been around for a long time. Been around forever. So I'm just going to put some in here and get my little powder brush and go up under them. You know, I'm going to bake. You know, those 50s ladies like to bake. <laughs> Pies and stuff, I guess. Mm -hmm. And I'll just go and Get under there so I can set real good. Then I'll get like a bigger powder brush and just go all over my face and put some powder and just set it like really lightly, but not not too much because I'm still going to be applying more makeup. It just makes it easier to blend and soak up all the extra and set it. Okay, now I'm gonna brush away. I don't bake too long. Okay. I want to look a little natural. So, they have different shades of this. So, if you don't like that translucent, they have like a different shade. 
All right, so now that's done. Um, this eyebrow bothers me again. Eyebrow stop bothering me. Okay, so now we need to do the eyeshadow. Or, you know, actually I need to do my face. So usually you don't really contour a lot in this era. So I'm gonna do a light, light, super light, super light contour with, I'm just gonna go under here because the, this, is, this gives you that just nice jawbone and chin. I'm just gonna do that and then whatever left on the brush, I'm just gonna put it up there. So, um, yeah, you're just gonna get this little highlight, just a little bit. And then I'm gonna warm up the forehead with whatever, whatever's left on this brush. Now you can contour your nose if you want to. I might, I might do a little bit, but that's all I'm doing with the contour. I'm not, just, I'm not going in just with any more product on it. And then I'll take the powder brush and go over that again. It won't look so obvious. All right, so it's like a subtle contour. Thank you. Um, my nose contour, I'll just use whatever's on this brush already. So it won't be so, you know, so much, so much. I, um, if there was anything on this brush, let me check this mirror. Oh, I see a little bit. All right. So just barely doing. Uh, put some down here. Because, you know, it's easier to show up on camera. And I'm going to take my powder brush and just blend it. There we go. It's more subtle. Okay. Now, I'm going to take other brush just go down the right there there we go all right Repeat. now that network will last all day now I'm just gonna blend it in with my fingers um how y'all doing <laughs> okay. I guess I do have to do a brush out since I titled the video then, or I can just retitle it. I don't know. Alright, so now we have that. Now I'm gonna take my Too Faced Natural Matte eyeshadow palette. I love this palette. It's so heavy and it's like really pretty to display. So these are the colors. Just a real pretty brown nude palette. Okay, so I'm going to take my brush and I'm going Lace Teddy. It's like a cream nude color. I'm just going to sweep it over my entire brow. If y'all saw my Shira 7 video last night when I was in character as a 1950s housewife, let me know what you think about it. Y'all want to see her again on that channel? Y'all like her accent? Because I have fun doing that, actually. It was kind of uh, silly, but it was fun. All right, so I got all that on. Ooh looking good already uh -huh. now I just very simple I can't go over but I have to keep reminding myself yes 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 mm -hmm. the 50s not the 80s all right so I'm gonna take this uh, fluffy brush and I'm gonna go make a transition color and I think I'm gonna go for this uh, it's called cleavage what a name. I'm going into the cleavage. 
And I'm just, you know, making this little transition in the cleavage. It's a pretty color. I'll put it up close. So it's like a tan taupe mauve color at the same time. And these are all matte colors, so they're not going to be like shiny or super, super pigmented in the Too Faced. So I just had to kind of blend it real good. And the subtle effect is what this palette is really good for. It's making like very pretty, subtle, nude, and natural looks. Which is exactly why I like this palette, because it has a specific job. All right. Now I'm gonna take a pencil brush and I need to deepen my crease. So I'm gonna take this Risky Business color. It's the darkest one in there. It's like a, a dark brown, chocolate brown. And then I'm going to just go in my crease. If you don't have a crease, you gotta draw one or just skip this part and just do the transition and then blend up and then maybe like do it. Um, Find like a hooded eye tutorial to see the best way for you. My daughter has hooded eyes. So we had to watch a tutorial on how to do her eyes. And it um, very helpful. So um, we just focused on her lids, making them really pretty, putting a pretty color on there. And then her lashes. And then a highlight color. Okay, now that I've gotten that in, I have to blend again. So, I kind of got some up there, but I'm... Let me get my other brush. I gotta go back into this color, because I've got brown there. I wasn't supposed to get brown there. And just kind of buff it out. All right. So now I'm going to go and blend all those transition and crease color together. Blend, blend, blend until you get a pretty transition and crease that looks very natural. Now I'm going to go back in and go on that lid to make it pop. So don't worry about my lid, it's coming. Just gotta get this shadow, the shadow down. It was blendy. All right, now for my my lid, my, my lid brush. Do that. All right, so for the lid, you're gonna go in for a, a lighter color. I'm gonna go in for nude goals. It's like a very very light cream, pink almost. So this is. Nude goals. I'm gonna get that, get that lid, the nude goals. See, and when you're gonna do your, sorry, so when you're gonna do your lids and your liner, this is gonna pop behind it. And your lashes. So let me sorry y'all, I'm getting messages after me. It's popular. <laughs> uh oh. Chestnut. Sorry y'all people trying to call me and text me at the same time. Like, oh. I'm gonna turn off that. I'm gonna turn it off because, like, I can't be interrupting. Like, with the noise at least. Okay. There, I got that on. Now I want to put a highlight up there. Now, I don't, you can do the same color highlight, but there's another one in there called Heaven that's really cute. And I'm just, it's like a yellowish, uh, yellowish white. 
And I'm gonna just hit that brow bone right up under there and heavy. <laughs> it's, oh, and it smells good too. I forgot to tell you guys. This has a very nice uh, smell. Mm -hmm. I love it when they make products smell good. Cause like your face is right in the palette because of the mirror. And you're like, hmm, that's a nice smell. So I appreciate that. Now I'm going to go back and blend again. Just so it won't look like separated. Okay. Okay. Now, this is the look I'm going for. I'm going to clean up those in the outside with with um, my sponge. Hang on. Okay. So, I'll just do like this. Kind of clean up those edges. Okay. Now that I have that done, it's time for liner. Now, the cat eye popular so everybody did the cat eye or just like subtle liner not too dramatic but not you know unseen so we got to go in with that liner which uh, I'm going to be using L'Oreal flash cat eye and I really like this one it's um uh, So it's hard to do this and talk to the camera at the same time. So I'm just gonna have to uh, sit there and chill for a second. Uh -huh. I'm gonna do it, but let me see if I can put the mirror right here so y'all can see it at the same time that uh y'all saw she took a bath last night and she did not clean up her little little ring. So when she get home, that's what she gonna be doing. Mm -hmm. So. So I start off like this, and I go up like so. Let me get this closer so I can see. Yeah, and then I go down. Now you might not want to go this dramatic, but I have. I'm going to be wearing some lashes today, and. It won't really show, you know, how dramatic this is. But if you're not wearing lashes, don't go super dramatic unless that's the look you want. Because some, you know, some people did go dramatic. But, you know, the average everyday look was not super dramatic. It was just very classic. And you know, chic. All right, let's hope we can get the other eye the same. I don't always have this problem. So, we're gonna try it. Did I get it? I tried. We'll even it out though. So I love this liner. It goes on so smooth. Y'all need to check this one out. The L'Oreal Cat. The flat, Flash Cat. It just, it just goes on like so easy. Like paint. Like butter. Alright. So... This one is a little bit bigger, so I'm gonna just take a, um, hold on, let me make sure everything's good before I fix that. I love this, I love putting it on because it's so smooth. And this was like the best pencil even 
they just keep getting better. Like, sorry y'all about this noise. I'm trying to get it, makeup. The the little liner pens just keep getting better and better every time I I buy a new one. It's like, wow, y'all have really improved this formula or you know this pen liner formula. In different you know brands, I try to buy different brands so I can see which one is really good. And so far, this one is like the easiest to use as far as liner, liquid liner. I like the old fashioned kind of with a little brush in it. Um, it's hard to find those still though. I like it because it just reminds me of the old days. So I'm gonna even this one out and just draw a little bit more on this side. Just to give it a little bit extra drama because I am putting on those lashes, so I might as well. Okay, I feel I feel good about this, especially since I'm gonna be wearing lashes. And it's just it is not that important to get an extra push lights unless you are a perfectionist. Okay, that's good enough for me, okay? Now I'm gonna go on with mascara, my Too Faced American Sex Mascara. And I guess I should, I guess I should do the liner underneath first. I have this nude shimmer liner that a lot of ladies put like white or nude uh, liner inside their eye like that to make it look whiter. So I'm going to try it. This is by Forever Cosmetics. And it's like a nude shimmer color. I thought it was pretty. It's just, you know, it has a little sparkle to it. I have white, but Sasha was using it last night and painting everywhere with it on her face. And I don't want to use that. So I have to sharpen it and get her little Sasha germs off of it. You know how kids play in your makeup when she was doing it. So I'm just going to do a coat of mascara before I do my lashes. And I do the top and the bottom so it can match the color evenly. Mm -hmm. All right. Then I hit the bottom lash. Mm -hmm. I like to do the liner, that bright liner first, so I don't smear it over the mascara. So this works. Better do it after. All right. So, if you don't like false lashes, this is just good enough. Just do extra coats of mascara, okay? So I'm going to go with my Level Up Cosmetic Lashes. And yeah, you can buy these on my Level Up Poshmark if you like them. So um, I'm just going to grab the first one. And then I'm also going to be using my Level Up Cosmetic Lash Glue. And it's a clear glue. And I love this glue because it sticks so good. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is an older one. Um, I think I've had this for a while. They last forever. You don't need a lot at all. Okay, so I'm painting that on there. You don't even have to really let it dry like you do the other type of glue. Before you stick it on, you can just stick it right on because it's already good. So, um, actually, this goes on this eye. So I'm just going to stick it on. And hold it for like 12 seconds. That's, that's what I like to do with glue lashes. Now, I also have my magnetic lashes if y'all don't like to glue. And they come with a liquid liner that is magnetic. And that's also on my fashion mark store. So I have this on. It just looks like a really sultry, pretty, you know, Glam lash. Now, if you don't like it sticking out like that, you can 
pull it over or push the lash up or down while it's still kind of wet, the glue. I'm going to pull it over a little bit. Okay. And you can use a, um, what do you call it? A lash curler once the glue is dry to kind of blend your real lashes with that for the lash, false lash. I usually don't do that step, but I might do it today just to see how good it looks. Layla bought me some, uh, my daughter bought me some makeup brushes and a lash curler and some splint makeup sponges from for Christmas. So I, I got a new lash curler I need to try it out. And I just might do it. Okay. So I got the glue on to make sure the lashes are straight. And place it down, hold it down. I guess we gotta look good to cook and clean and go to the bake sale and go to that Tupperware party. Yeah, gotta put them lashes on. Look, go to the movies. I don't know, y'all. Yeah, I was not born in the 50s, so I have no idea. All right. Um, I think, yeah, this is really pretty. These could even be like for the 60s. This, this lash is very long. I don't think they were quite this long in the 50s, but we're going to be extra today. Like, we're going to be like Elizabeth Taylor because we're just going to be extra with these lashes. Because she had, you know, she didn't even wear lashes. Oh my gosh, her hers was real. Can you imagine? All right, I gotta pull this over just a tad. So when you get your lash on right, like you're going there, make sure they're even, don't look crazy, like two spiders. Yes, this is, this is how my character talks, like in that Southern accent, when I get in the 50s outfit, it's funny. All right. I'm ready to do this hair, so I'm trying to hurry up. Forgive me if I'm rushing. Okay, now for just a, <clears throat> a little bit of blush. I'm going to go in with this. Sorry, guys. I have a bl my blush palette out. But now I can't find it. Wonderful. Where did you go? That's okay. I will just use this Clinique. I'll change it in the description. But I did try to use my NARS palette. I can't find it. Find it somewhere. I'm just going to use this little Clinique um, in the Fig Pop. It's called number, no, is that number 10 or 16? No, number 10. So I'm just going to give a little bit of color there, just a little bit, not too much. Just a little bit. Because I keep putting more on. So I can't put highlighter because they didn't do highlighter in the 50s unless they used like Vaseline or something. And it was for the movie, you know, movie star so they could shine and glisten on the screen. But normal, average, everyday women did not do highlighter, so I can't do highlighter. Sorry. Um, which is I regret it. Can't do no highlighter. Now, I think I'm almost done. Just gotta put on the lipstick and I am done. And my spray. Cause see, that was that was pretty quick, actually, compared to all the steps that most women do today. They put on like layers and layers of layers. This I can get out the door a lot faster, just this kind of look. And it's cute. So um I'm gonna be going in with a retro color today. And y'all probably seen it yesterday. I'm going to be using that Revlon Fire and Ice. 
and that's the shade. It's just a pretty classic uh, shade. I'm just going to go in. It's creamy smooth and it's been around since a long time. This is an older color. I have other older colors too, like Cherries in the Snow. I think that's more of like a bluish red. I used to wear Cherries in the Snow in high school. All right. Now, yes. That looks good. So if you want to do a lower liner, you can. I don't know how I feel about that right now, but let's just see what it does. I'm going to just put a little bit, just a little bit. I have this Kajal liner. I'm just going to hit it a little bit and see what it looks like. Oh, it looks better. Okay, I'm just going to hit it a little bit. Just halfway through, not the whole with the whole thing, just halfway through maybe. It just makes your eyes look a little larger. Like a doll, doll face. All right, I like that, okay. I'm, I'm good, I'm good, okay. Next, let's do this hair. I'm ready for this hair, aren't y'all? Let me spray my face and set it real quick. I'm gonna be using this Morphe set and spray. And set this, all right. Okay, well actually, you know what? Some of this came off and I have to put it back. Well, I'm all uh, sprayed up. I don't know if I should do this. I'm just gonna dot it. Just gonna dot it. That worked. Oh no, I didn't start it back on. Sorry, y'all. It had to be done. So we're going to leave it. All right. I'm going to fix it, though. So, I already do this here. I have never done the setting, the set, the roller set, and the brush out uh, before. And the way that uh, I've seen other YouTubers do it, who tried to uh, do like a 1950s look. So this will be my first time. So y'all don't judge me, okay? Don't don't judge me too hard. And, you know, uh, I'm trying to get this right on this eyebrow. <laughs> and it's just not working. I hate this. I'm going to get that eyebrow stamp. Have y'all seen that? Where you just stamp it on? It just looks so quick and easy. I know it's not that. I know it's not gonna work on me though. But I would just get it just to try it, just in case it worked. Cause I hate redoing this part of my eyebrow. It's like my pet peeve. It's like you have to get the angle exactly right, or it looks off. The angle is hard. No wonder people don't even try to get this angle anymore. They just brush it and make it look like. Hair is missing. So this is exactly what I might do. Uh oh. See, might do that. But just need a little bit of a line to it. I think I did the other eyebrow too big. That's what it was on the top. Fix it. All right. Square. All right. This is just going to be good enough for now. So I'm going to do this here. All right. So I'm going to take the rest of these rollers out. Oh my gosh. No, the curl's gone. <laughs> Look at how I've done. Y'all didn't see it. 
But see, these came out good though. Like, why did why didn't this side come out? I'm mad. It didn't come out good. I should have wet it again. That's all right. We're gonna work with it. We're gonna work with it. There had to be bad hair days back in this, back in the 50s, so let's see what, what we can do. I'm just taking these out. And if you haven't seen these on the haul, it's just a satin covered foam roller. And I used a foaming conditioner to wet my curls last night before I put the, the rollers in. So it was like, um, sorry, it's like my Carol's daughter. Okay, so this is this is the outcome of you know taking a look. this been taken down for a few hours. So I'm gonna take this a uh, bore bore bristle brush and this is how they do it. They just comb through it like this and try to get I'm trying to get closer to you. And I'm trying to get further away from you. Where you go? All right. So they, they brush it like this, okay? But mine's not acting like I want it to act. Turn on this, yes. So, hmm, it's still giving me that little wave though, still giving me a wave. I bet this side's gonna be good though, look, watch this. Oh, now that's nice. So, oh, oh, I'm gonna have to edit that out. If I don't, oh well, no, no, it's too lazy. Don't brush your hair close to the screen. I'm sorry if y'all have on earphones. You never know what's gonna happen. Okay, making a note of that time. I need to edit that out. <laughs> okay, so I'm brushing it out. Okay, now, I think because my hair is not super curly because it's been dropped for a while. So now I can style it with this brush. This is the Denman Styling Brush. This is a vintage uh, brand of hairbrush that they used back in the day. So I can style, kind of shape my hair. Maybe more inside. I don't know how it's supposed to curl. Like that. It's supposed to curl like that. And then like curl it like that. Oh yeah. And put some bows in there. Okay, now do I look like a 1950s housewife? This uh, roller set. Ooh, I like that how it's gonna curl right there. Yeah, okay. Now for the bottom. It's hard to see because my hair is black and I have on this black. Let me just pull this down so y'all can see. Yeah. All right. Now I need some volume. And I, and I know I gotta tease it or something because like, I know, I know it was more voluminous than this back in the day. So let's tease it. You gotta find a comb. I should have had this comb. Got it. So you could tease it up in here just a little bit. If you want, like, back combing it is what they call it. But you know, I can tease. Ooh. Tease that. Then you like style the hair, brush it down smooth, but you still have that volume. And maybe I shouldn't have used the conditioning spray because I probably would have got a better set if I had just used something with 
not any conditioner in it, but I wanted to make sure my hair was going to be conditioned, child. I can't have no dry hair. So, you could do like a little victory roll if you wanted to, or just have it, the volume from it. And just, I think it's, I think it's cute. I think it's very chic. And I'm not going to try to mess with it too much. I'm going to hit it with some hair spray. And that's going to be that. I don't want to over manipulate it so all the curls will be gone. But um, if you want to pin this part back, you can. If you want to pull it forward. Um, I don't think they really wore it like that. So I'm going to pin it back with a bobby pin. And just look right behind the ear. So you can't really see it. But you still have that. 50s look. Make sure that curl is not off. And where's my hairspray? Oh, here we go. So I'm going to be using this Ooh, Criminal by BTZ. It is a humidity blocking hairspray. It smells good though. Maybe it'll hold these curls. I'm gonna do some right here. Just hit the whole thing, right? <laughs> All right. So, trying to, trying to see. Yeah, yes, I think that's cute. Um, well, I'm okay with it. I think it would have been better and uh, more bouncy if I had uh, put more product in it that did not have any conditioner because it kind of weighed it down. And I think I would have had a better result if I put more, you know, wet, if I had made it wetter instead of, you know, just the product, I had sprayed it with some water. I would have been real bouncy, but I'm happy because I wanted too too much, so I couldn't tame it. All right, so this is the final look. What do y'all think? It's cute, I think. It's not as bouncy as I wanted it, but it could work. Um. Should have did some, uh, let's see here. Let's just like rattle it around. Hmm, okay. So, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. And if y'all have any tips for me, y'all put them in the comments too, because I love getting tips from other ladies. <laughs> if y'all want to see, uh, Hand of the Housewife character again on my other channel. Y'all just let me know and we might see what we can do. Maybe once or twice a month we can have, you know, a little video with her on there and discuss some things. So, this is the final look. I got on my little pearl earrings. And I have um, my makeup done. I'm ready to go. And get dressed. I am dressed, but I'm ready to go and get dressed again because this was just one look. You know, we gotta change clothes about three times because I have to go do different things. I gotta go uh, do different things. Like, I gotta go to the bake sale and you know, I have to go to the charity auction. And so I have to dress a little bit different. Um, right. So, Thank you guys for tuning in. I really appreciate it. This is the final book. I'm still trying to mess with it but and be satisfied. But this is the final look that I'm going to have for this video. Um, I'm going to go watch some more tutorials and see how to do this better next time for you. And But this is, um, this is how my roller, sponge roller, semi, semi wet set came out. And um, it's not too bad. It's 
Ich schneide es beide Sachen, aber das ist ganz gut.